Apartheid-era chemical and biological warfare expert Dr. Vota Basson should not get off with a light punishment. This, according to the last witness for the Health Professions Council of South Africa, Mark Blotman. Blotman testified in aggravation of sentence in the Besson hearings underway in Pretoria. The council found Besson guilty of unprofessional conduct in December 2013 following a six-year-long inquiry. It ruled that Besson contravened international protocols and conventions. Professor Mark Blockman expressed shock at Dr. Besson's conduct. He testified about a radio interview Basson had after being found guilty by the council. Basson allegedly said Marikana would not have been disastrous had the police used the chemical weapons he developed. The man showed no accountability, no responsibility, and in fact I felt it was an absolute disgrace for the, for the profession. And I also thought that, um, that just on that interview alone, it was enough for this the, the learned colleagues out there to make a decision. It was absolutely unacceptable. Earlier, the proceedings started with Basson's lawyer, advocate Yap Salia, demanding that the hearing's chairperson, Dr. Yanni Yichu, recuse himself. Salia alleged that all members of the South African Medical Association signed a petition influenced by Dr. Yichu to revoke Basson's medical license. He requested the matter stand down. Passon's legal team also wanted to approach the North Gauteng High Court to review the allegations. All we ask you is a proper and a fair opportunity to evaluate what you have said. This is a delaying tactic and that there is no sufficient grounds. The request was denied. This forced the Basson team to walk out, forfeiting their chance to cross-examine Professor Blockman. Will you excuse us? The defense will call its witnesses when the hearing resumes. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News, Pretoria.